so how's it going today guys back here with another video today is going to be auction house tips episode 5 um, we'll give you guys some tips in the auction house to save up some MT for tomorrow's pack drop or maybe there's just that one card that you kinda are trying to save up for this should help you out I try to provide the fastest ways to make MT that I know of uh, before we do get into it though man please make sure to subscribe to the channel we're on the road to 500 subscribers we'll do a giveaway then um, we do pack openings here every Tuesday and Friday and other mock auction house related content like this and MT making content. So please make sure to subscribe, leave a like on the video, leave a comment down below. Is always much appreciated. But hey man, let's just get into it. I will uh, provide some tips here for you guys to make some MT tonight. So the first thing that I'm going to talk about is Diamond Tristan Thompson. Now Diamond Tristan Thompson, he is going for right around 2450 and there's so many up on the auction house right now. Let's see exactly what he is going for. There's one for 2,000. I'll actually just buy that one because that'll be some profit. It's kind of a little bit of a snipe there, kind of just a minor snipe. So he actually looks like he went up maybe just a little bit here. 2,600. There's only one for 26. There's quite a few for 27 though. So I would probably put him up for 2,450, maybe 2,400. And made a little bit of profit off of this one right here but you guys can make so much MT bidding on these Tristan Thompson cards man so I'll just bid on a few right here I'll even put the max bid at probably 2,000 just to see what we can do here man there's not too many like right away here but you will find again a lot of waves with this card where there will be so many ending at once and you'll be able to score some getting like some of them you'll even get for like 500. I've had that happen to me a few times. But we'll just throw bids on a few of these guys here, man. I don't know if they'll end within the time of this video, but I guarantee you that I'll be able to get some of these and even get quite a bit of MT back on some of these as well. And then just put them up for 2450. You can even do this, you know, if you want to throw some bids on a bunch of Thompsons and then just go play some triple threat, whatever you want to do. Maybe you're watching March Band this night like I am. So I'll probably be doing this kind of while I'm watching the game. But this is a good thing to do. I definitely guarantee that you guys will score on some of these. So we'll end it off right there for these ones right here. And then um, you can just go straight diamonds too. Or you can do like the diamond flash filter. I know Jonathan Kaminga, he's went up a little bit in value since last week. There's one for 49. But if you can score a Jonathan Kaminga for like 2,000 or less too, man, you're going to make profit on that card as well. Or you can also just go straight diamonds and see if we can get anything good to pop up here. I would avoid the current series diamonds though because even if maybe you can you know get some for like I don't know 1500 or a thousand or whatever price they're gonna take forever to sell so that's kind of the drawback with those cards so I'd avoid those some of these shades of cards maybe I can make a little bit of profit on but they're gonna take forever to sell too so I'm gonna avoid those as well maybe this Michael Porter Jr. we'll see if we can score him now there's already someone bidding him up yeah, I don't think it's worth it at that point. But yeah, you can definitely score some nice cards in this diamond filter. I would definitely focus predominantly on the flash ones, though, specifically Tristan Thompson as well, because there's so many Tristan Thompsons. Kind of got unlucky again with there not really being a wave. There kind of was a little bit of a wave there, like 15 minutes out, but yeah, man, definitely would do that. And then, of course, you got the good old standby. You got the pink diamond filter, and I will put the maximum bid at, let's see here, maybe 5,000. And pink diamonds went up a little bit too. The least, um, least amount of MT that they're going for right now is about 3250. So if you put a bid of like 2900 or so on any of like the cheapest ones in the game, let's see if we can get this Jabari Smith here, man. Because I know that he went way up in value. Let's see if we can score that card right here, Dale Ellis, maybe. Oh, that sucks. Because I think Dale Ellis is probably like 10k. But yeah, like Ben Macklemore. Um, Who's, who else is there? Malcolm Brogdon, any of those guys that are going to be going for that lowest price, which would be about 3250 So you will find waves of those two that are at 500 MT. Just put a bit of 2900 2950 see if you can score some of them. You'll be able to make some good profit off that as well, man. And I think Marcus Smart is right around, like, I don't know, like 5500 I'm, I'm actually going to check the cost of him because I need to see how much exactly he is going for, man. Because he was about 55, 56 last night. Oh, that's max bid. My bad. 
and he's a good card to focus on too because there's just so many Tristan Thompsons and so many Marcus Smarts on the market right now. And there's quite a few Bracket Busters, Pink Diamonds as well. But I think Tristan Thompson is the card that I would mainly focus on. But some of these other Pink Diamonds, man, are good as well. Like, did you see that wave right here of all these for 500? I guess, you know, they're quite a ways out, but maybe I can hit that in a couple of hours. We'll see. So, yeah, Marcus Smart has went up a little bit in value. Maybe like 67.50. So yeah, 67. You could put them up for 64.50. They're going to sell right away. So let's see if we can score maybe a couple on bid here. Or even just put some bids on some of them. Let's see if we can get this one right here. I might even lose a little bit empty on that. I went a little bit high on that bid. But it is what it is. Actually, I won't. I'll, I'll get some empty back. But that might have been a little bit high of a bid. Let's do like 52.50 on some of these. Someone else might be bidding these up. Yeah, someone definitely did bid these up, but... As you can see with the Tristan Thompson, no one had bid any of those up. So I've been scoring so many of those for so cheap, man. So I've definitely focused on him predominantly. And there's going to be a lot more Tristan Thompson on the market than Marcus Smart as well. So let's go right back into just the straight pink diamond filter again, man. Just to see if we can score anything. I'll put the max bid at 5,000. Because if you do this, if you do the max bid 5,000 thing, you may miss out on the occasional, like, old pink diamond that you could score for cheap, like for 10k or whatever. But you're still filtering out a ton of garbage that just, like, overpriced cards that people put up. So I think it's worth doing it, man. It just saves a lot of time. Um, but yeah, looking a little bit cold on the pink diamond filter as well. But maybe like this Al Horford, I think he's still going for right around 10k. Yeah, someone bid him up already. So definitely the hot, hottest filter, at least at this point in time, is that Tristan Thompson, man. I would definitely focus on him. We got outbid on a ton of them. We did get a couple Marcus Smarts here. We did get that Jabari Smith. Let's see if there's still some of these that we are winning. No, we got outbid on most of them, but I guarantee you guys that if you sit on this, you know, just keep doing this and do this kind of in between your games and stuff you will get some like someone just um put bids on all of those but you definitely will be able to score some of them but hopefully you guys can make some mt from this man definitely would focus on tristan thompson and marcus smart and then if you know if there's none of those up for a little while then just try just the straight pink diamond filter and you guys will be able to make some mt let's see how much this jabari smith is going for though man just really quick i know that marcus smart i'll put up for 64 50 but Jabari Smith was pretty expensive the other day. I think I got him for, what, 6000 right there? Oh, he did. He went down a little bit. Come on, man. I'm getting screwed here. Well, I'll st I still will make some MT off that. And you guys will find with this, too, there will be times of the day, just like random times where none of these cards are getting bid up. And if you just be patient with these strategies, man... And I know that a lot of you guys have told me that you have had luck with this kind of stuff. That, um, you know, you've been patient and you have made a ton of MT doing this kind of stuff. I mean, I've made a ton of MT even just the last few days and last few weeks off these methods. So I guarantee you that if you uh, focus on the Thompson, the Diamond Thompson, um, Pink Diamond, Marcus Smart, like I said. That's probably about my third time saying that, but I just kind of want to be clear that those are two cards I've focused on most. And then the Pink Diamond filter, too. So, hope you guys can make some MT off this, man. I'll be back tomorrow for a pack opening video. We have more auction house tips videos soon. Please make sure to subscribe if you are new. Leave a like on the video. That's always much appreciated, man. Leave a comment down below. And I will see you guys in the next vid.